Now, a nonprofit is hoping to add a new positive choice for students that are riding those buses, an old school approach for their ride to school. 10 News reporter Madison Allworth spoke to students this morning who are really excited to hit the books on the bus. Students at some Polk County elementary schools have a new addition to their bus commutes. It's about Nicholas Flamel. You remember him? Irma's Books on the Bus launched today. We provided books, um, 16,000 books, to go on 400 school buses in t all the Title I elementary schools in Polk County. So each bus will have a container of about 30 to 40 books. Irma is a reading therapy dog. Her owner, April, wanted to create a program with the potential for bigger impact. Tomorrow I will work hard. Each bus has a student librarian. Our job will be to have a book, so we'll have this big bookcase with books and we'll, we'll try to get kids to read each book. And even if a couple books disappear, we will make sure that they still have more books. And if a child takes it home, okay, that's fine. You know, if they read it to their brother and sister and then return it, or if they don't return it, or if it gets given to a cousin or um, a friend, that's okay too, because all we want is a book and a child's hands. That's all I want. The goal of this program is to use bus time as reading time. And amazingly, so many of these students know just how important reading is. All the way through my life, basically. I'm so busy with That's very life. true. You will be reading for your whole life. Yes. Yes, yes because everywhere where there's words, basically. Yeah, so it's really important to know how yes. to read, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I think important kids to read so they can get a job, they can go to college, and they can actually be something and not still live with their parents. Well, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but like some people actually want to get their home, their own home, make their own money, pay their own bills, and get their own car. So if you read, you can be able to accomplish all of those things. I tell you, those kids are right on. smart. Yes. They are smart. <laughs> and I like that they're reading on the buses, yeah. too. Not, not on devices, but actually getting a chance yeah, to read. taking advantage of the time. Absolutely. Now, every single school bus that services a Title I elementary school in Polk County will have a bin of books. Those bins, they're going to be rotated monthly, so students constantly have new options for them to read.